Hi, Tesco here. And welcome back to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. And we see uh, Splinter there, getting carried by a bunch of Mousers. So that's our next objective. To, you know, save Master Splinter. Fucking hell, come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how, how actually Splinter got caught. Because he was, you know, in the intro, you saw, saw him, you know, with all the four turtles, so I don't know when they captured him or not, so... Uh. Maybe he was just sleeping, because he's, you know, all frat, and the mouses just came in and, you know, tied him up and brought him here, I don't know. I think this is like a factory of some kind. Yeah, those are lasers. Don't go there. They're gonna hurt you. Just like these guys. Fuck. Yeah, I think I'll just use the, you know, jump attack for this because I'm really bad at doing the, you know, the special. This one. Boom. Oh, I'm getting better. I'm evolving! There we go. Yeah, I didn't really research. Like, do the turtles really have, you know, a difference? You know, do they have like a... Does Donatello have a longer reach with his, you know, bow stuff or something like that? Does do some of the turtles like Raphael do more damage or something like that? I don't know. I think they're the same, at least in this version. I don't know, but the, uh, the actual arcade version. They might have some differences there. Fucking hell. Fucking spearmen are kicking my ass. And now we have these new enemies. They die in one hit when you use the special attack. They can do... Maybe only one alive. I'll... Sh uh show the attack that they can do. They can do basically, you know, that same laser attack that Bebop... Yeah, Bebop had. Yeah, just to use the, you know, the special attack and... There should be no problem. Because you should have more than uh, enough time. Fuck. Stop hugging me, bitch. Yeah, you should have more than enough time to, you know, go, in, go in near them, use the attack and kill them in one hit. Boom. Yeah, I think the most of the time when I'm getting hit is when I'm actually uh, trying to do this special attack and I'm not actually getting the animation for it. Then the full shoulders are like, what the fuck is this guy doing? So just come punch me in the face. Now we have the new enemies here, these fly thingies. I don't know what they are called. Yeah, just use the jumping attack for these. It's safe and easy. Are we getting just music now? I wish they had used the, you know, the... You know, the cartoon intro song in this game. Like they did in the... Was it called the... The Shredder's Revenge? That was a really nice game. There's like a nice throwback to this game, the arcade classics. I might play that too sometime, but not right now, because I'm playing this game. I need to finish this game, actually. God damn it, these banana dudes are kicking my ass. Oh, get away! Now, I don't know what that dude was thinking, backing off into the barrel like that. <laughs> I think we should be fine. There should be a a pizza slice coming up, which we can use to heal us up just before the boss. Yeah, watch out for these, you know, laser things. We can just hit them a couple times and then they freeze. 
do, do, yeah, you get points from them too, yeah. Here's the pizza, I think. I wanna save that for a while. Here's Splinter, and here we have the... I can it's called the granite Graniter. I think he's from the, you know, the animated cartoon series. At least one of the... I think his real name is like Surgeon Morg or something. I think they come from the Dimension X. Uh, and I think they command the, you know, the rock soldiers. Which I think they would have could have added into this game as well. I think they're in the arcade game. Oh, yeah, you get hit by the flamethrower, you... Turn your face off. Fuck. Yeah. So just like with every boss, just try to use the jumping attack and try to jump away as soon as possible so you don't get hit, actually. So they have this, they can swat you with the uh, gun of them, like so. I think she should be almost dead right now. I am that dude has some fucking pepperonis on him. I just realized that fucking hell. I think in two days writing that this game would be like 18 plus just because of fucking nipple shot. I think he's almost dead. One more hit. Come on. Die. There we go. Yeah. Here's a load-bearing boss. And we have saved Master Splinter from his predicament. Thank you, my turtles. Ninja magic. Yeah, this is the new stage that was, that was added in the, you know, this version of the game. It's a, I don't know what it is, a dojo? Fuck. And I'm getting fucked. I don't know what the kanji is here. I know some Japanese. I think the first one is one, then it's a day, then it's one again. I don't know what that is. Maybe a evil? One evil a day? I don't know. Yeah, we have this fucking... I always used to call these monkeys because I played this with the small TV and I just couldn't see the graphics that well. So I thought these were like monkeys, but now that I see them, they're actually, you know, ninjas. So I actually thought these were like uh, gorillas or something. You'll see why I thought that, because there's other fucking animals on this place too. Why are you stuck in there? Get out. Again, we have no variation of the foot shoulders here. We have these, you know, the regular purple ones here. Come on, can you do the attack? Thank you. I think there's spikes now coming from the tatami here. Sure, you can. I don't know how long dude that was staying there, but yeah. They do a sure you can up the, and you actually fall into that hole too. Boom, 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 boom. Whoa, I almost fell in that hole right there. You can actually use this candle to attack the enemies. And I did it the wrong way. I'm trying to use the special attack, but it's really hard. I keep pressing the A way too early and the B way too late. And I miss. Oh. Where are the spikes coming? I remember there are spikes in the floor. Okay, there they are. Thanks for reminding me. 
fuck. Ooh. Yeah, this is why I thought that this was a zoo stage, because there are fucking animals here. These are fucking annoying, these tigers. Just keep running from one, one, from the one edge to the other. Yeah, just keep smashing the button here, you should be fine. Or not. I remember these guys being really easy in the when I played as a kid, but I think I must be misremembering things. Fuck. There we go. I burned to death. Keep missing it all the time. Come on, where are you going? Oh my god, Key, please come over here. Thank you. Keep smashing that fucking button. Boom. right on me. There we go. Fuck these tigers. And they're the scorpions. They shoot lasers. They, you know, swipe you with their uh, tails. Try to get them in the corner and just wail on them. Yeah, how does that feel, fucking assholes? I already lost two lives because of you assholes. Come on. Again, there's ninjas. I think these are the easiest enemies here. You just kick them, you take jump back, you kick them in the air. Boom, and boom. Like, I'm not the only one who thought they were fucking gorillas, right? Oh, we have a secret walls here. Or hidden walls, whatever you want to call them. We get a life up. A one up, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there's also the pizza right there we can take. Or I could get punched right into it. That works too. Yeah, I really like these, uh, you know, old Konami arcade games. I like this one, I like Contra. Well, Castlevania is not a, you know, arcade game, but still. Here we have a new boss for this game. The Shogun. He swipes you with this, uh, I think that's a Naginata. Yeah, that's a real- Whoa, his head flies right off. Yeah, that's why it's so hard. You have to fight this guy and the head too. But the good thing is that the only the head has the, you know, the hurt box. Oh, oh you get hurt by the head, not, not by the body. The only thing that the body can hit you with is the, you know, the Naginata. I think we want to get the pizza right now. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, when the head is actually, you know, attached to the body, then it won't hit you. Only when it's, you know, detached, then it can damage you. Boom, and there you go. Shine!
No, I know what that kanji means. That's Budo. It's not like, like a, a way of the weapon or the martial art or something like that. And we have finally reached the Technodrome. In the center of the Earth. Yeah, this is the last stage of the game. Yeah, I really like this music. Bing, bing. Yeah. I don't think there are any new enemies coming here, so all we have to do is face the same enemies here, the banana suits. I think we have the katana dudes here, we have these. You can just walk after, you know. You don't have to even kill those guys. And we have these lasers here. And the katana dudes kicking my ass. Fucking hell. Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck. Yeah, I don't know if you play it with two players, if the enemies, if they're more like enemies respawn more or something like that, I don't know. It's been a long time since I played the, uh, this, you know, two player. Fuck, yeah, there are these ice things here. You can kick them. Knife dudes here, I'm getting fucked beyond belief again. Yeah, maybe I should have farmed some, you know, points back in the other stages because I feel I'm gonna get fucked up. But I think I have a good enough tactic for the final two bosses, so I think I should be fine. Got these guys again. Yeah, just use the special attack. Alright, hit them more. Yeah, now this is getting annoying because I let too many of them live. Fucking hell. Yeah, try to use, I'll try to use the jumping attack for now. Try to deal with these guys. Yeah, with two players this is easier. Because you can just, you know, the other takes the other one. The next one takes the next one and stuff like that, so yeah. I'm gonna kill these guys because they're annoying me. There we go. I think we have a new... Do we have the ice things again? No, we do not. Boom. Come on. Oh my god. I think I will just use the, use the jumping attack because my finger is getting tired <laughs> of doing this special attack. Even though it's the most efficient way to deal with these guys, but we're not, you know, speed running this game, so I don't think it really matters that much. Boom, there you go. Come on, Mikey, you can do it. There we have the laser coming. I have to get inside. I uh, have the laser. Otherwise, you're gonna have a really hard time dealing with these guys. Oh, not one, but two, two kills. Uh, uh, uh. And now we get into the elevator here. If I can ever, yeah. Yeah, you have to kind of go into the 
Okay, he needs like the corner here. Okay, you can just stay here, wait for the balls to come. Then you can jump to the other side. There's a pizza. I think I want to take it after I, if I get hit too many times. Yeah, I'll try to kill these first without getting the pizza. Yeah, I really hate this fucking machine gun, guys. Fuck these guys. How many of are you here? Come on! There we go. <clears throat> I need some water. Fuck this guy. You know, I like this game, but I never said this was gonna be fucking easy. Oh, you fucking asshole. Whoa. I yeah, that's the electrocution attack. You know, I wasn't trying to get hit, I just wanted, you know, shoot the attack. No, I actually just got hit. I'm fucking bad at this game. You have a really hard time getting these guys stick into the corners. Aye. Yeah, I'll just revert back to my jumping attack tactic. Seems to work better. Yeah, we have the Hammer Bros again. Yeah, not the Hammer Bros from the Super Mario. These guys are different. I'm getting fucked. Come on. Stop ganging up on me. Here is the boss. Just to stay at the lower end. Boom. You can actually get hit by that, you know, door. Yeah, here is the general drag. Also from the animated series. Yeah, same tactic as before. Just, you know... Try to hit him, then jump right back out so it doesn't hit you with that fucking punch. Yeah, what is it with these guys and their fucking nipples showing up? Did they have those in the animated series? I don't remember. Or did Konami have some kind of a fetish with fucking nipples? I think the best tactic is to try to attack him the on the elbow on his back, so he have more than enough time to you know jump back, get out. Yeah, I might lose my life here. I'm not that you know confident. Or am I? Let's find out today. Yeah, hell yeah. Fuck this guy. I don't remember, do we get health regenerated? For the next boss? We do! It's the second to final boss, Krang himself. I think there's a tactic to come over here. You attack him. Oh fuck, yeah, I fucked up. I think there's some kind of a tactic, I don't remember what it... You go up here... And you jump attack... I don't know. There was a tactic you could do, like...
I saw the guy from was it Bits and Glory? I think I saw his video. His video about that you can you know cheese this prank. Yeah, I think it's a known tactic to defeat Frank that way, but I know I don't know how to do it, so I saw it like once and you know I didn't practice at all. Oh Straight in the face. Yeah, I think I'll revert back to my old tactic as like when I played this as a kid, just so I'm kicking brave. That's the tactic I'm using right now. How much, how much health do you have? This crank is fucking me up. Now when are you gonna start glowing? There you go. About fucking time, bitch. There you go, fuck you. So there's a tactic for the shredder you wanna get on this not uh, you'll see this line here, go a little below it, and stay right here. And there should be a tactic that I can actually use. Defeat the Shredder. For the final boss time. It should be like I should go here and do this, but you know, the game doesn't want me to actually showcase the, the tactic at all. Yes, yeah, see? You're supposed to get the other guy here so you don't get hit at all and just use this jump kick here. Please come here. Nice. This is the one I was talking about. Yeah, I think this is the fake guy. Yeah. I need to move away. They're fucking me up. Yeah, the real shredder, <clears throat> you know, if the helmet goes off, you know, uh, way early in the fight then that's the fake one you have to defeat the uh the real shredder here Fuck. is that the real shredder i try to hit the other one that doesn't have the helmet on so Yeah, the game doesn't want to work with me. I would have used the, you know, the tactic that I saw. You can just stay there. Keep, you know, jump attacking the Shredder. And the other guy, the f usually, the, hopefully the fake one, will just, just start doing the, you know, the lightning strike that the Emperor Palpatine uses. Unlimited power! That attack, so... Uh-oh, not this time. I knew at the moment I was started, you know, record that I wouldn't be able to do it, so... Uh. I'll just do it the old school way. Now they just <laughs> both start spamming the fucking lightning attack. 
Is this the real Shredder? Come on, get away. Yeah, I don't want to move from this line, actually, because, you know... If I move from this line, I'm gonna get hit by the... Lightning attack. Keep hitting the fucking... Fake all the time. I hope I don't die. Come on now. Can you fucking die now? Yeah, I'll try to concentrate my attacks on the shredder that has, does, does, uh, has the helmet still on. So I feel like otherwise this fight is gonna drag on for way too fucking long. And I'm gonna fucking die! I hope I don't die. Okay, now they both have the helmets off now, yeah. So now I think now if we defeat, you know, the fake, then it will not respawn. Yeah, now it's one on one. And there you go, you fucking bastard. Fuck you. And that's the game. We got Divya Shredder. Destroyed the Technodrome. Saved April O'Neil and Master Splinter. Now we can go home and eat some pizza. I look <clears throat> I made that fight look much harder than it actually is. I just I'm just out of, you know, out of practice. So Congratulations for beating the game. Thanks. Yeah, I really like this game. It's one of my favorites. I used to play this as a kid like all the time. Like even with my brother. We would play this like almost every day, like at least once. When we were like kids, like eight, ten year olds, something like that. Yeah, actually, I own the, you know, the physical copy of this, and it's the one I, like, I didn't buy, but my dad bought it from our cousins, that they would come to visit us, we would play this game, they would show us how to actually defeat it, you know, the game. You know, I was shocked when I played this game, and they told me that there were fucking two shredders that we had to fight, I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah, but as a kid, when I played this eight-year-old, yeah, I got... I don't think I made it past the fucking super stage. <laughs> M. Kishimoto? Masashi Kishimoto? The creator of Naruto worked on this? No, I think it's somebody else. Ba -ba -da. Yeah, so I'm at, on my channel play more of these, you know, classic NES games. Yeah, I'm thinking playing next, like... Uh... Like, I'm thinking of playing Bucky O'Hare, I have that game, I have the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers platform game. Those are like my two other favorites from the NES. I'm also playing to ease the Vanished Omens right now. And I won't make that into a Let's Play series. Ha uh, ha uh, ha. Uh. Game over? What the fuck? I beat the game! Yeah, the classic arcade thing. You always get a game over, even if you beat the game. So yeah, this is me, Desco. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya!